This episode, preparing your home for the holidays. Well, folks, the holiday seasons are once again upon us. I think Thanksgiving's coming up this week. Preparing your home for Thanksgiving and the holidays is a handyman's job, and it just involves a whole bunch of tasks to ensure that everything goes off smoothly. Um, you want your house looking in great shape for your guests. So we're going to present a checklist of items that you as a handyman might need in preparation for the holidays and or for Thanksgiving. Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show, home improvement and maintenance tips from the pros. Thanks for listening to another edition of the Handyman Pros Radio Show, where our goal is to help save you time, money, and aggravation on your home maintenance and repair. This edition is entitled Preparing Your Home for the Holidays, and to help me explain, there is my old friend and buddy, Mr. Johnny. Johnny? Tell me a story about this week, Johnny. Um, the dog uh, dug a mouse, a live mouse, out of the uh, of, a, of a wood pile. Your dog actually kept it alive. Killer. <laughs> it got a, it got, a, it got away from him. <laughs> Hopefully not. But in the he house. was. He, you know, I've never seen him go go quite that crazy and start slashing it. You know, with the cord of wood and stuff like that, and throwing wood aside, so going after them. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anyways. folks, I, so I have to tell a story about your dog. So, when we first started recording, you had a dog named Z Man. Z Man used to sit in on the shows. He was a German Shepherd. Is that what yeah. he was? Yeah. yeah. And so, so is this one. Well, no, this one's not. He's Cujo, I swear to God. Um, <laughs> but but Johnny's original dog, the Z-Man, he was a great dog, and he used to yeah. just hang out. You know, my dog's here with us right now. She's sitting over on the couch sleeping. But um, the Z-Man was great and chill. This dog is like on steroids. I swear yeah. to God, it's just all over the place. John calls me. He's like, shut up. Stop doing this. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It's like. Yeah. He gets a little <laughs> rambunctious at times. Just so. a tad. Just a tad. Anyway, Johnny, have you had you got any good stories this week besides the dog trying to rip apart your wood pile? Uh, again? No, not not really. Um, you know, just not, nothing that that's uh, that's of any of really any consequence, any interest. Um, so um, I don't either. Really. How, how been... boring am I this week? Yeah, pretty pretty boring. We did uh, go camping no. over the weekend. It was pretty good. I've got it. Oh, that's good. That's yeah, good. You, it was. You guys nice. had fun, right? Yeah, we did. We had a, we had a good time. We did. We we went down to a, a local campground and just kind of hung out for a couple of days. It was a little cold, but that's okay. We'll we survived. What can I say? All right. Before we get started, we're going to talk about a, a checklist of things that you need to do for your home for the holidays, as it were. We're throwing Thanksgiving and the holidays together because you might as well do it all for one. Get it all done. Um, but before that, we do ask you to like and subscribe to our channel on both YouTube and on our podcast. We're trying to get our numbers up. We really want to get the word out on this show. And if you could help us by hitting like and subscribe we would really appreciate it and give us With, a good review give us a good I review too. To interject that. yeah johnny wants to interject <laughs> that giving us a good review hey whatever it's just self-serving what can we say um it's one of the few things we do so we just we're trying to get the word out we're trying to get our numbers up we hope you all enjoyed it all right with that giant holiday season how many people do you have coming for the holidays uh none no, it's me neither. It's great. <laughs> so, show's <laughs> over. Have a great week, folks. Because uh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have a good Thanksgiving. I don't know about you all, but <laughs> peace and quiet. Peace so, and quiet. That's right. Uh, no, no, but, but uh, honestly, um, it this will it this will uh, apply to uh, to to my Christmas though, um, which I yes. have some people go. Now we'll we'll be talking about that at a later date. But right now we've got. Uh, uh, Thanksgiving coming up in about a week, I guess. So, and, um, but the, the lists are the same and the, the list, and the list, are the, and the list are the same, you know, yep. you just want to be prepared. You want to be prepared. Now I will tell you that, um, you know, if you want to, if you want to start Larry, um, yeah, on the, on the list here, we've got a few items on the list that, um, you probably don't want to overlook, but uh, uh, well, there, yeah. So first thing is number one thing on the list is inspect and repair. Obviously you need to walk through your home and sort of make that old list of, you know, Hey, what projects have I been ignoring for this year? <laughs> in, in my case, yeah. what projects have I been ignoring this year that I need to actually get on? So I'm look, you know, I'm always looking for things like light bulbs and broken light, you know, any light fixtures, anything me, I'm big on these, um, Cover outlets being cattywampus, I want them. I like them square. Sorry, mm -hmm. 
OCD. Uh, but it is what it is. So, you know, squeaky doors. Just make a general checklist of the things that you need is, is the first thing. That's the first thing. And then I also go and do that same thing on the outside as well. So is there anything outside that needs to be done? So, yeah. Well, the one thing I did was I took advantage of the warm weather that we've been having. And yep. I know the weather's going to go sideways here. And uh, um, so I to. I, I uh, took the opportunity to, to clean the outside of my house again. Clean? Did um, you clean your gutters? Uh, well, I have gutter guards, so I don't have to worry oh, okay. about that anymore. I actually got I actually got up on my roof before the rain before we haven't had rain here folks in Atlanta probably what six two, weeks now? two months I think yeah. it was but I mean, any, and of any significance yeah y yes and um, so I got back up on my roof of course all the pine straw and leaves have fallen down so I took I actually blew off my roof and the gutters I've got a valley that tends to collect a lot of pine yeah. straw and junk so I clean that off but that the second thing on the list is clean your gutters and do it you know do that exterior inspection get some of those little things if you're in warm weather you need to do that but even you know gosh if you're in the snow country like we used to live in you do want to make sure your gutters are clear you know you don't want any place to catch like to catch the snow and all that kind of thing because yeah well for me it was it was cleaning outside because I, i'd probably be outside with the with the folks during what would be christmas if it's nice out I mean, mm -hmm. if it's if it's you know marginal even i'll be out there because i have the portico that's a covered part right. of the um the deck but you know, I had a, just wanted to clean it out. You know, we all the spiders are dying now. Yes, they are. And, thank, and, you know, thank goodness, man. <sighs> and um, you know, not not like you guys in Australia. We don't have those no. spiders like that. But uh, but you know, our spiders here have been pretty big this this last couple of years. But you know, it's all that stuff that's just accumulating and the and the you know just the filth and everything. It's just a, yep. the, from all the dirt and everything. But t I took advantage of it. You know, yep. I'm like, oh, why not do it now? You know, clean off the, some other stuff. Yep. I tell you, the other thing that I did is, um, you know, what you want to prepare for is, um, is if you're going to barbecue or you're going to have heaters or something, get propane. You don't yes. want to be the last person out there looking for uh, propane, you know, and that's and, and, a big thing too. I tell and you. it spikes at, at, yes, thank, it particularly at Thanksgiving because people yeah. want to cook turkeys in the, Correct. in the, uh, in the outside grill. So yeah, it's really, that's a great point, John, because yeah. it's, it's uh, really, really strong. I'm just going to start going through some of these things on the checklist. Clean gutters was second. Uh, third thing is check your electrical systems, you know, go check all your outlets and stuff, make sure they're working properly. Check your ground faults too, while you're at it. You know, if you have, if you don't have a ground fault tester, you should well, just hit the big button for the kitchen yeah right exactly um hvac time to change the filters we talk about it all the time but it might be a good idea to put you know if, if you can't do you can change your hvac filters but make sure everything's working you know if it's if it's not working check it same thing with plumbing make sure you don't have any leaks go fix those leaky faucets and the, the leaky toilet in particular fix the leaky toilet because it's going to save you money in the long run right um and then what's one of the other ones john what's number six on our list do you have it i do have it yeah it's uh appliance inspection yeah it might help if the oven works <laughs> um yeah you know we do harp on a lot of things over and over again but you're you know these this is no this is no joke when it comes to you know when you need it it doesn't work or you got an issue now's the time to take care of it yeah exactly. like uh you know hey look under the refrigerator vacuum under there um yeah no take leaks a, <laughs> check for leaks good, john, it, good it brings up a memory for me johnny when we were a kid this is this is a, a million years ago and it goes to your propane comment but we had a situation once where we had i don't know we must have had 25 people at the house and we were going to barbecue chicken and we put chicken on the grill and about before the chicken was done the thing ran out of gas right <laughs> so it literally caused it made my mother make a song you know the chicken's on the cooker and the cooker's out of gas and I, for that so that's 40 years ago that happened and i'm still singing that little ditty the chicken's on the cooker and the cooker's out of gas check your appliances check nah, your gas i'm, I'm telling you i did the same thing with steaks so yeah, yeah exactly right if you've never done it and, and listen folks that was when the price of uh, food wasn't all that much right now <laughs> that's enough to make today. a grown man yeah. cry right so oh terrible terrible so um you know other things to do john what, what's seven on our list uh safe safety check you know and that's something that um you know for your smoke detectors it's probably a good yep. thing and i've got that on my list i've got that on my to-do list like Yep. This week is to change out the batteries on my batteries. smoke detectors. Because you yep. know what? 
let's say that you got people over that might be even staying at your house and those things start chirping at night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's bad enough to have all your relatives over. <laughs> but, 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 but when they don't get any sleep, it's even worse. <laughs> so... Spoken like somebody that's yeah, lived that journey. Yeah. I mean, so, I'm just saying, yeah, hey. you know, like, like, there you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah, do that, do, you know, make sure, and actually make sure they make sure they actually work. So test the, t do the test buttons. We talk about this all the time on our wintertime checklist, but check your windows and doors, you know, or you got, you got leaks. If it's cold, if you live in cold climate, even here in Atlanta, it's, today it's it's a little chilly and the wind's blowing at least in my house the wind is blowing so nice to not have the drafts and things in your windows and doors right um and you know and I, let me just add this it, it, that it, it really does bug me um just from that standpoint I, you know just being like that but i you know i i just uh, folks if you don't have time to you know fix up all your windows and your doors especially on the bottom just go buy one of those little those door foot thing, foot, you know, what do they call them? Uh, um, they're, they're, they're like a big bean bag. Yeah. They're like a big cylindrical bean, bean yeah. bag thing that you just push up against the door to yeah. keep the draft out. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what they're called. Somebody, somebody could tell yeah, us. Somebody's going to tell us. It escapes me right now, but uh, you know, buy a couple of those things. And, and you know, if you're going to do this stuff, do it now, because I will tell you when the, when, when the, um, the when Thanksgiving or Christmas starts to roll around, the aisle in the big box stores where all the sealer, the seals are for the doors and everything are going to be jammed. Yep. hundred percent agree. And people, they're going to be buying that stuff out. So yeah. Buying it like crazy. A, just a tip. Yeah. It, <laughs> it, it, it really is. It's about pre-planning, right? It happened do to the, me. I just yeah, want do this to... stuff now. You know, we can get it. We can get it last. Remember last year, John, here in Atlanta, we had that cyclone bomb and it was cold, cold, cold. I mean, cold, like oh, in yeah. single digits, which is cold, really cold folks for Atlanta. Really, really cold. Johnny, Johnny grew up in Chicago. I grew up outside Western New York. So we're used. We understand that cold weather. But could you find any pipe insulation in any of the stores around here? You know, one of, I mean, that this is another thing that we'll be bringing up at a later time. But I will tell you that, you know um be mindful of your plumbing on the outside you know because if it sneaks up on you um and it starts uh if you're going to get a freeze boy now's the well it might be past time for some of you but you know you you know do what you can because when i when i went to fix my plumbing last year that there was nothing in the plumbing aisle no, nothing. No, it's here. In, so folks understand here in Atlanta that these kinds of items are they're seasonal items and they disappear rapidly once that the, the first cold snap shows up. Um, so like faucet covers and things that people put on the outside of their homes to, to do their faucet. Speaking of that, Johnny, I need to go. I've got mine. I need to go put them on now that you say that it's that's, that time of year. I'm it's, saying. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, folks, and what y'all might not understand, we've had we've had be actually a beautiful fall. I mean, the weather yeah. has been stunning, but we have we've yeah. had one little cold snap and i say cold it was down around 30 you know at night which yeah cry us a river right uh -huh. yeah. if you live in the north too bad move yeah. um <laughs> if we did we got a lot of there um but uh uh you know it's it's cold but you, you got to get ahead of the season because you can't like those faucet covers last year at christmas like we yeah, had the cyclone gone. bomb rolled in uh, on uh, december 24th and you could not there was nothing it was all there was gone. nothing Every, you nothing. couldn't get anything and people's houses flooded and they, and they, it was, were it was huge, bad. bad. We did two shows on it. If you want to go back and look, but it's about how to prepare your house for, for really ultra cold weather, which if you live in the North, you understand this, but for a lot of, for a good portion of the country, they don't. And, and so, well, anyway. we don't, you know, I think what I learned was don't, don't uh, get yourself lulled into a false sense of, you know, that everything's going to be okay <laughs> yeah, right. from, from a weather perspective because it turned it turned last year it it it, it slapped me slapped me in the face i'll tell you that much yep. it's like yeah yep. pay attention so yep. anyways enough of that yeah enough of that so nine and ten were both the exterior things johnny already talked about on our list so exterior maintenance got, you know now's the time to get your anything done on the outside that you can at least if the weather's good yeah. enough I, I, and, I, I, let me ask let me add this larry let me interrupt there i'm sorry um is yep. is, is grab your caulk gun and go around go go around your windows and look <laughs> yeah yeah well yeah you know while you're walking around doing your inspection just bring a caulk gun with you and just you know seal up a bunch of stuff 
yep. because it's just not the air coming in. It's the water and everything else that's it, well, potentially going to screw things up. We talk about up. water so all the time. Yeah. I just did it on my garage door, as a matter of fact. I said, nope, they're starting to go better. <laughs> the new garage doors, Johnny, that you built last year? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, Johnny. We did a show right on, on the, building. It's, yeah, I mean, it's right on the bottom, right? So it's the the water's right. bouncing off the concrete right yep. up onto the doors. It's like holy crap! It's already. Yep. So I'm trying to keep up with it because I don't want to go through that again. Let me tell you. No, no, so. no, 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 no. And and then uh, along with the exterior maintenance is yard maintenance is yard cleanup. You know, so it's kind of time of year to clean up everything in your yard if you don't have any snow on the ground yet. Time to get the get the junk out of the yard. Then comes my favorite, Johnny. Decorations. Mm. yeah um we're not big on that that's to each his own on that to each his own, yes. <laughs> absolutely uh kitchen prep you want to make sure the kitchen is well organized but gosh if you don't have your kitchen organized by now maybe you know spend a weekend and go go well, do that you know it's funny that you bring that up too <clears throat> when i saw you put that on the list is that i just done that in my kitchen see especially in especially in the um <clears throat> where we keep, you know, in the closet, in the kitchen type of thing, you know. And I just straighten it all up. Yeah. It looked so like you know it was where a total is, disaster. Right? It looked like a bomb had hit it. And I'm like, how did this ever get this bad? <laughs> so, you know. Because <laughs> the door gets closed. That's why. The door gets closed, right. <laughs> I know how that works. And, you know, it's just, it, you know, when you're doing stuff, you're just not putting it back neat and faced no. off and everything. It's like, I just. I just and you close the door. And you don't and see it. close the door. But, you don't see it. So yeah. That's what happens. So yeah. So so you know, it's it's a good time just just before because of course it la you know you do that organization, John. When's the next time you'll need to do it? Three or four months. Well, I haven't done it in thirty years. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, we're always you know, hey, at the same once, time every, once every thirty years, folks, it, it works. Uh, you know, the other thing is is that speaking of your kitchen is if you have. Um, if you have like hood vents and things like that, you know, clean that stuff out too. Yeah. make sure that they're, you know, ready to go. Cause I don't know about anybody, I, you know, when I'm so over at somebody's place and they're cooking, um, you know, dinner for a lot of people and a, like a Thanksgiving, man, there is a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Oh yeah. I absolutely. mean, there is a, a lot, right. I'm not telling anybody out there what they don't know, but it's, you know that those those uh, filters and stuff need to be cleaned out of the grease and everything else. They they do for several reasons. Yeah, it's also a good safe, it's a safety check yeah. as well. So they that grease can ignite and you've got to fire in your in your up in your hood thing. Yeah. Don't think it doesn't happen. Commercial, you know, John, I, I know you know this, but commercially they actually hire a company to come in and clean the hood vents yeah. out. And they oh, use yeah. a pressure washer. They literally use a hot water pressure washer oh, that yeah. sprays hot water and grease, and they and they vacuum all that nasty water out of there because of the fire the fire hazards. Now I understand that a commercial kitchen gets a lot more use than a, a personal kitchen, but if you don't do it every so often, meaning every year or every two years, you can have the same issue. Well, so just like your fireplace, just so, like your fireplace. Yep, you same know, thing. And if you're going to use it, I'm going to be using our fireplace during during the uh during the holidays i got two of them so so have you checked them speaking of I that have, that's another I thing have, no that's not good, on my list but it should but the, be on my exactly list. Your that's part, why i'm bringing it up part. but the good yep. news is for me is that they're gas so <laughs> you know i don't get the i don't get all the creosote and stuff like that in right. them is it like uh you know if you're if you're burning wood but if you're burning wood yeah you know make sure that there isn't a squirrel or some some animal that made a nest in there just saying, who knows? Light what's them up, wrong. Johnny. Light yeah. them up. Who knows what's you know? And then the next thing you know, you got an issue. Yeah, <laughs> he's right. got an issue, but then you got an issue. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, yeah, it's a it's a not chain of hurt. events. Oh, uh, not funny. So it is kind of funny, but anyway. So uh, another you know another thing that's on our list here is you know is check your emergency kit, right? Do do you have a good first aid kit? You know, do you have all that kind of stuff just on the outside edge that something happens, uh, you know, whatever, right? I, I mean, one thing, make sure your fire extinguishers are checked because especially folks, if you've never dropped a uh, turkey into hot oil, never oh. deep fried our turkey, make sure you have a fire extinguisher around. Just do yourself a favor. And don't do it under the garage. Do it outside. Right. So there's a story there. Yeah, um, yeah. Just just uh, asking for a friend. 
Um, yeah, just so, asking for a friend <laughs> about setting your house on fire when the thing so, explodes. Anybody yeah. who's doing this turkey thing, I'm glad you brought that up. Go and investigate and follow directions before you drop a turkey into boiling peanut oil or whatever you're using. Yep. Um, yeah, there's I've, I've got stories. So it's, um, yeah, don't. There's no better way to cook a turkey, though. You've got to admit, it's awesome. I, to, you know, that, that's a personal thing, but yes, I, but I like the it. thing is you've got to be really, really, you do careful. have to be careful. Yeah. yeah you people have to be careful. that first timers, uh, you know, emergency rooms are filled with first timers. So yes, just be, care- yeah. <laughs> just yeah. be careful. And there's plenty of YouTube videos. There's all kinds of exactly. resources. Exactly. That, that's able what, to do that's what stuff. I'm saying. Go, go, go look at Pay it. Attention. Not, Pay and attention. And you know, my, my emergency kit is in my, is in my truck. So it's like, if I have to go get it, it's, it's there. I mean, now I've got stuff in the house, but everything's consolidated where I know if I had to go get it, I'd run there first. It's so, it's kind of funny. We, we laugh when we go camp, like we just came back from camping, but we take my truck, you know, yeah. and it's like, Oh, uh, we need a, we need a broom. Yeah. It's in the truck. We, we need a, you know, a screwdriver. Yeah. It's in the, everything yeah, I have is in my truck. Just go, just just get the broom out of the truck. <laughs> get the broom out of the truck. Okay. Why? Why? Cool. You know. Anyway, yes, everything's in my truck as well, including my emergency kit, which is in my truck. So you know, yeah, it is what it is. Um, one of the other things on our list is check for additional seating. If you got, you know, got a bunch of people coming in, make sure you've got extra seats. Go rent stuff if you need to. Blah blah blah. Um, if you have children coming little children yeah. childproof your things right and and for us john and i are older we don't i, I don't have any grandchildren yet and you don't either no. but we're close and yeah. our houses are not childproof my house hasn't been childproof in many uh, many no. years no it's pretty sloppy uh, I, I you know and right now i can tell you that there's a there's some some things i can think of right off the bat that i'd have to i'd have to do but so, we're working on that in the yeah. future that's, but if you, that's but if, it but if you to, have kids, it's something have kids, to think about. Got to do it. Yeah, Guest it. accommodations, of course. Make sure your extra bedrooms are clean and prepared. And, you know, make sure that it just depends on who's staying in your place. I guess, John, you know, if it's your mother-in-law, you might not make it quite so comfortable. But, you know, how that goes. Um, well, any of you out there, yeah, if you have if you have your in-laws and stuff staying, make sure they leave a, a quarter on the toilet tank and <laughs> stuff like that. And, <laughs> pay for the room. <laughs> I mean, hey, there's a there's a there's a revenue potential here. I, so I understand the, that. It's called Airbnb <laughs> for your family. Yeah, that's you know, right. hey, you could that's stay right. here or I can charge you the Airbnb rate. What do you want to do? You yeah, know? Right. Yeah. I mean, you're already here, aren't you? That's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? So, yeah. Uh, and last but not least, preventative pest control, you know, might not be a bad time to have the old exterminator at least here in the south for sure because the bugs this, are still active. This is a uh, good point. Because yep. guess what? When the weather gets cold, guess what starts moving in? Yeah, actually, the critters start coming in, and the that's critters, the... the you know, bugs. Um, they're digging in. The stink bugs are digging in underneath the siding. Trying, you know, I mean, all this stuff. I mean, I'm the finding squirrels. All kind of squirrels. <clears throat> thank God, that right <clears throat> now things are things are holding out without those things. But uh, this place is eaten up with squirrels and chipmunks. I, I've never seen it this populace of with these things is it, you, you're on. having that too because i swear at our I, it's uh, here at the up. house it's like there's it's more squ- i haven't seen so the, many squirrels and the, chipmunks too both and both the deer the whole the and whole the thing is going crazy everything yeah everything's going crazy. anyways anyway good yeah. list larry all right so with that we want to wish you a very happy holidays i suppose and um johnny um, question. Did, did they serve you when they abducted you last year on the spaceship? Did they serve you turkey or did they serve you something that was green and had eight legs? What? No. <laughs> they gave me a drumstick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough. <laughs> enough. Yeah, it's enough. We'll leave that one alone. All right, All right folks. With that, with that being said, that once again signifies the end of the Handyman Pros Radio Show. Yep. We would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to our podcast and or our video channel. Uh, we are on YouTube. We are on, uh, we, if too, if you have a question, send us an email, questions at handymanprosradioshow.com. If you have a show suggestion, questions at Handyman Pros Radio Show. If you just want to bother us, questions at Handyman Pros Radio Show. We're all good. Um, we do have websites, handymanprosradioshow.com. We've got a Facebook page that's at Handyman Pros. We, Johnny, what are we going to do? We're going to see him next week on the Handyman We are Pro going to see him next week, is right. And I hope everybody has a great uh, great Thanksgiving. 
And uh, in a great week, and we'll see you next time on the Handyman Pros radio show.